Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. After we put an operating system on our virtual machine, the first thing we're going to want to do is install VMware Tools. VMware Tools basically makes your virtual machine run better. It makes your mouse interact with the console better. It makes the keyboard interact better. It also installs some drivers and some applications as well as a Windows service that allows your console to interact with the operating system. And it also allows other programs or scripts to interact with the operating system via VMware Tools as well. So it does a lot of things, and really I haven't run into a situation where I didn't want to install VMware Tools, so you're almost always going to want to do it. If it's the first time you're installing VMware Tools on an operating system, then you're going to need to do an interactive installation. So to do that, we need to be logged into the operating system. So I'm just going to send a Control-Alt-Delete to the guest and go ahead and log in. Now I have to release my mouse from the console. To do that, I'm going to hold down Control and press Alt. That released it. Now I can go up here to the console menu under VM, go to Guest, and go down here to Install Upgrade VMware Tools. It says, Installing the VMware Tools package greatly enhances graphics and mouse performance in your virtual machine. Warning, you cannot install the VMware Tools package until the guest operating system is running. So ours is installed and running. So now we'll go ahead and install it. Basically what it's doing behind the scenes is it's actually mounting an ISO, the VMware Tools ISO, to your CD, DVD, ROM drive on your virtual machine. If we ever wanted to end our VMware Tools installation, let's say we didn't want to install it, we'd have to go back up here, go to VM, guest and click end VMware tools installation and this will unmount the VMware tools ISO and remount whatever ISO you had previously mounted. I do want to install it though so I'm gonna go down here click on run and I'll just click on next here on the splash screen. We can do a typical complete or custom installation generally a typical installation does the job, so I'll go ahead and click Next and Install. The VMware Tools installation normally does require a reboot. If you have a previous installation of VMware Tools on here and you're just upgrading your VMware Tools, let's say a new version of ESX came out or an updated version that had an updated VMware Tools, when you run the uh, update, when you go up here to VM, Guest, Install VMware Tools, you can actually do a non-interactive update. So it'll just go through and update everything for you and reboot the VM. So that's handy if you've got a lot of VMs you need to update. So I'll go down here, click Finish and go ahead and restart our virtual machine. And you remember when I was working with it there, I had to press con hold down control and press alt to release my mouse from the console. Once VMware Tools is installed, I don't have to do that anymore. Okay, now VMware Tools is installed. You can see watch my mouse. I can just go right off the screen like that. I don't have to press control alt to release my mouse. And I'll just send a control alt delete. Go ahead and log in. And normally when you install VMware tools you get a little icon down here that lets you know it's installed and running. And there's the icon. If I wanted this icon not to show I could just right click on it and click on disable icon. So that's VMware Tools. It's pretty easy to install and you'll almost always want to install it.